In this video, let us see how to send email using Python. So let's get started. So before we proceed here, we need to create a unique password for our project. This is my email dashboard. Just click on your profile and select manage your Google account. So after you go to the settings, here in the search bar, just type apps and click on app passwords. We need to create a password so that we can use that password to log in. So I have already created the app password. Let me delete that. Give you a name for your app. In this case, I'm going to type Gmail testing and click on create. It will generate a unique password for you so that you can use that password to log in. Don't show this password to anyone. Otherwise, your Gmail account will be compromised. Let me copy that password and save it in my file. I'm going to create a new credentials Python file where I can save the email and passwords here. So I have defined the email and password in this credentials.py. So let's get started. To send the email using Python, we will be using something called the SNTB library. So let's import the SNTB li library. Then let's create the SNTB object. Object equal to SNTB library. We will call the SNTB class. Inside this, we need to pass two parameters. The force to server and the port number. In this case, since we are using the Gmail, we will type SNTP.gmail.com and the port we will use for Gmail is the 587. So type that. Then for encrypting our email, we will use the TLS. So start TLS. Call this function so that our email will be encrypted. Then we need to log in to our Gmail or that type the object.login. Here you have to pass username and password. Let me import that username and password from the credentials. From credential, I'm going to import the email and the password. Let's pass that email and password here. Let me run this file to make sure no errors were encountered. So this is, the, as you can see, the file finished successfully. That means we don't have any error till now. If you want to send the message, use the attribute send mail. Here we need to pass three parameters, the from address, to address and the message we want to send. The from address will be our email. The true address is the recipient that we want to send. In this case, the recipient will be. So this is the email that I want to send message to. The message it content. Or this is I thought. After we have sent that message, let's close our SNTP server. So let's save this file and run now. The file executed successfully. Let me open the browser. So let's refresh now. As you can see, we got a new email that from this email. Hi, this is Python testing. You can test the timestamp here, 6.30 and we have here 6.31. If you want to send this email to multiple recipients, you can pause Insta here list. You can open, type another email address if you want. But I will stick this and I will show you how to send HTML as a message. For that, we will have to import another models. Let me import that from the from email dot mine. We will be import the multi port import mine multi port. We will import this class. Then we need from email dot mine dot text. We will be import the mime text class. To send the HTML as a message, we need these two classes. So let's open our HTML file now. So this is the HTML file. Let me show the. So let me open this in browser. So this is a simple HTML content. So let's see how to send this over the email. So let's open that file. So let me copy the part of this file and paste it here. We will open this file as HTML. Let's read the content of the HTML now. HTML content equal to HTML dot read. Now we have get the HTML content. It's time to define the message object. Message my multipot. Then we will have to define the two. The two will be our this email address. So let me copy this email address. Paste it here. Message from the front will be our email. If you want to define this subject, you can define that here also. So subject equal to Python test. Finally, we will have to attach the HTML contents for that HTML mail equal to mime text inside this parsley HTML content. 
and the type is the HTML. Then message dot attach. We will attach the HTML mail. So everything is all. So let me define the text here. Message dot. We will convert the HTML into string. So as string, call the as string function, and let's pause the text here. So let me remove this and pause the text variable. Now everything is set. Let me run that file now. As you can see, the Python finished executing successfully. Let me open up the browser. As you can see, we got the HTML content as a message. So this is how you send an email using the Python and especially using the SNTB library. And for the HTML content, we will have to import these two classes, mime multipot and the mime text. So this is for this video and I will meet you in the next one.